morning. It is around 6.30 in the morning. We got a really nice sunrise happening back there. Alex and I are headed to Big Bend National Park, which is all the way in South Texas, like basically Mexico. And his brother is getting married this weekend. Yay! So we're gonna go celebrate with the family down there. And on the whole way, I'm gonna try to dumpster dive as much as possible. We got our coffees first thing this morning. We are filling up the tank and hitting the road. Okay, we're about four hours down the road and we're currently in Abilene. So I saw a grocery store, so we stopped here and I'm gonna check their dumpsters. Mostly this looks like just leaves in here. Okay, so most of these bags are just leaves. So let's check over here. Here's food, but that one smells so bad. Okay, this is interesting. We've got an empty toolbox. Oh, binder. <laughs> this is such a weird dumpster. Um, there's like one shoe in there. Christmas tree stuff. You can see someone already got into this one because it's ripped open. Okay, well, I'm not gonna take any of that stuff. If I was back, <laughs> I stepped on the ball. If I was in Denton, I probably would take some of that stuff. But right now I'm just looking for like, just small fun items that we can throw in the back of the car and it's not a huge deal. But we're gonna drive around because there's a dollar store in this same shopping center. So we're gonna drive around the back. Okay, so the dollar store had an employee out uh, working in the back right now, so I didn't go to that one. But this is a cosmetology school or yeah, school. Um, so there might be stuff in here. I see like a necklace looking thing right there. There's a bunch of like crafts. normally wear dresses when I dumpster dive. It's kind of weird, there's like little toys in here. Stuff that was kind 
fluffy tissue paper. Always really awesome. There's a bunch of tissue paper in here. Here's more. Cute little feathers for a craft. I love taking all this stuff because I can take it to scrap and donate it. They're a craft store. I've talked about them before, but they're local in Denton and they use all this kind of craft stuff. And actually my brother-in-law's um, fiance, soon to be wife tomorrow, works for Scrap and she does all of their um, education programs. And so I really love supporting them because it in turn is supporting my sister-in-law. Like all these little scrap bits. There's a lot of yarn in here. Like, I don't really know why you'd throw out these things. These are great for crafts. All these strings are having a hard time keeping them contained. Here's a more tissue wrap, it's just out of the plastic. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna take. I got it all in my bag. Um, I'm just not taking as much as I typically would since we're traveling right now. But there's a lot of stuff in here that if I was back home, I would take it. So like this is glitter. Here's more yarn right here. And that's gonna be what I take. So there we go. Time to get out in my dress. <laughs> Texas, taking a pit stop to go get some chicken. <laughs> World's shortest pit stop, but we're all full now. Thanks, bushes. So we just pulled into Alpine, Texas, which is a pretty small little town, but they apparently have a big university here. And so I am gonna see if there's anything good in the dumpsters. <laughs> All right, we're on the campus. This looks like they're dorms right here, but I guess I'm not 100% sure. So... Right okay, so I'm going to take this S right here for decor. This is a shower. Here's 
here's a little Caesars $10 gift card. So I'll hang on to that and see if there's anything on it. This is a gorgeous campus. You can see all the mountains in the background. Probably nothing in that one. And I'll say nothing in that one. Okay, so I'll take, oh, these I didn't even try to take, but these are little shower hooks for your shower curtain, so I'll take those. And this home decor. All right. There's not really much in there anyways, it looks like. Okay, all of these are recycling. And recycling. All right, nothing here. This is a place that we don't have in Denton. It's called Porter's, and it kind of looks like a grocery store. Oh, there's a bunch of jalapenos. Looking at jalapenos in here. Um, yep. All right, so that one's full of peppers. And what about this one? Oh, food. Okay, so this one has loaves of bread and what looks like a whole case of snacks. Don't all those look like honey buns or something? What are they? Oh, it's a sandwich? Let me go ahead and grab them. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get in there. I don't know if I'd be able to get out if I got in there. These like tall ones like this, they're probably like five feet deep. And I'm just not sure I'd be able to get it. Let's consult Alex. We were debating and I don't really think I wanted to take them anyways. And now somebody um, is coming out potentially. If we were in Denton and I lived close by, I would take all of them or I would take them to the little homeless um, food bank that's close by. But since we're on a road trip and cause the dumpster is really tall, I'm not gonna get in and get all of those cakes. later we have arrived in Turlinga, Texas which this sign in the background says is the chili cook-off capital of the world so if you want any chili this is the place to be it's all desert and we're waiting on all the family to get here since we're here for a wedding so we're just hanging out at what's this place called? the starlight theater and grabbing a beer just sitting down enjoying the cool fresh air and it's really really pretty here lots of mountains lots of flat desert very south of texas it's nice to be out of the car for sure we were both starting to feel pretty cooped up so this is nice Our cabin for the weekend. So this isn't normally what I put in my vlogs, but I want y'all to see this house that we're in right now. This is the cabin that the couple rented in Tiralinga and it's amazing. Hold on, I'll show you. So the ladder right there leads up to all the bunks and you can sleep up there. And then this bathroom. Isn't it amazing? Look at the tub.
good morning. We are driving back to Denton now from Big Ben National Park. And whenever we are driving through this town, uh, this is Midland, whenever we were driving through Midland on the way there, we saw a Walmart from the highway that had dumpsters outside of it. So if you don't know, that's super, super rare for Walmart to have actual dumpsters outside of it. They always have compactors. So we're trying to find that same Walmart right now. And we were just at a different Walmart that I thought was the same Walmart and then it was a different Walmart. So right now I'm just, I, we ran across the street to Dollar Tree um, and maybe they will have something, but there also is currently the trash truck. So he's picking it all up right now, but maybe we'll find something first and huh a weird amount of clothes back there. I think this is actually their recycling now that I'm over here. Yeah, so let me just go real quick over here. Let's see. Oh, this is recycling too. Dang, we might have missed it. He's getting it right now. Dang. All right. Let's see if... All right, I thought maybe there would be a dumpster around that side. So, okay, well, Dollar Tree is a bust and hopefully we'll find the Walmart that I originally saw those dumpsters at because that's pretty insane. And they just, they have so much waste that I just, I'm imagining that dumpster just has, it's just a gold mine, you know? But okay, well, we're gonna keep trying. Hopefully we find something. I think we found it. Well, that might have been a uh, missed opportunity not stopping the first time because there's their compactor now. And the dumpsters that we saw, they had two of those big construction dumpsters like right in this area. Well, we just got back home. So that completes my little mini dumpster diving road trip. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Although I didn't take a lot of stuff or everything that I found, it was super fun to just like branch out and go to new places and experience what those cities throw away. <laughs> so um, I know it's a little different than what I normally post, but I hope that you enjoyed following along on our trip and that was just super, super fun. But I am very glad to be home. 18 hours of driving in like, a day and a half or something because we went down to Big Bend we stayed one night then they got married the next morning and then we drove back so it was a lot of driving and we're actually going to another wedding this evening that Alex is a groomsman in so it's just been a really busy weekend but I'm excited uh, to get started diving again on Monday I'm gonna take tomorrow off and just rest and then get back into it so thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I, <laughs> the dog spotted me. <laughs> Our neighbor's dogs. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I love showing you guys everything that I'm doing and finding and just hope you all have a really awesome week and I'll see you next time. Bye.